up everybody? It's your boy, Spencer X, and today we're doing five things every beatboxer needs. Let's go. All right, item number one. Water. As a beatboxer, you need to stay hydrated. I can't tell you how many times I've been to the studio or I've been to a performance or I've been just beatboxing on my own, practicing, and I forgot to bring a water bottle. You don't need a big jug like this. I'm using a two liter bottle from Enviro and I just find this super helpful because I filled up once the entire way through and that's my water for the day. I don't need to overthink it. Do I have enough water? Do I have to buy any? No, boom, you got it all here. This is the only thing you need. You could have a water bottle, put it in a cup, you know? But any way you spin it, hydration is key. Water is your best friend. <laughs> Beatboxing is a physical activity. Just like any sport or singing or dancing, anything that requires you to do movement, that also requires hydration. Obviously there's thousands of health benefits for water, but the point is to stay hydrated. It'll save you from cotton mouth, it'll save you from a lot of things. Do it, drink water. So that's it for number one, let's get to number two. A metronome. So I use a Yamaha metronome. I don't think they make these anymore. I've had this one for quite a while. You can buy a metronome pretty much at any music store or go online to amazon.com. A beatboxer's job is to keep time. I'm gonna say it again, a beatbox's job is to keep time. So if you're on a budget, you don't like carrying the thing around, you're like, it's too much work, bam! You could put it on your phone. I use an app called Pro Metronome. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Pro Metronome. And it does the exact same thing. You can change the BPMs here. This pretty much does the exact same thing. Worst case scenario, you don't want to buy one of these, you don't want an app for one of these, uh, and you're trying to find a way to keep time, you're trying to find a metronome for you, you can just go to google.com and just type in metronome and it does it for you. So super sweet, super simple. If you're watching me through a computer or you're watching me through a phone, there is a way. Keeping tempo and keeping time is so important. No matter if you're collaborating with an artist, if you're doing a song on your own, if you're beatboxing to a track, or if you're performing with a band, it's just great for practice. So that was number two, let's go on to number three. Whoops. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Yeah, I'm using Ecolips, cause big life. Look, you don't wanna be a person that's in this situation like, oh Spencer, I got bars, spit a beat. I got you, one second. Don't do it. Simply said, you wanna keep hydrated, you wanna keep moisturized because this is your instrument. Just like a violinist would take care of a violin or a flute player would take care of a flute, a beatboxer takes care of their mouth and their vocal cords and everything around here. The healthier you are, the better you will perform. I didn't used to have water around me all the time. I didn't used to have chapstick around me all the time. These are things that I've learned that just, that helped me along the way. Chapstick, water. Boom. So that was number three. We're gonna go on to number four. <laughs> it is an audio recorder. Now I'm using the H6N from Zoom. It's pretty sweet, it's pretty nifty. I use it because I can connect microphones to it. So there's four inputs there. Also record into it. A great audio recorder will give you great audio quality, but you don't necessarily need that. You're fine getting by with your phone. And so, boom, another thing on the list. Most phones have a voice memo app. You know, see right there? Boom. And you can easily record yourself at any time, any place. I like to think of audio recording as a journal. So you're logging in your thoughts, you're writing down your beats. Let's say there's one beat you really, really want to use for your next video, or one beat you really, really want to perform. Because as soon as you think of a beat, that's actually pretty hot. 
super helpful way of logging your beats so you can keep them for later or you can work on them later. You know, we're human, we forget things sometimes. So that was number four. Now we're gonna go on to the last one, number five. <laughs> Microphone. This is the AKG D7. I use this bad boy because it has a dual shock mount, which means there's pretty much no handling noise. If you see here, the windscreen actually fits on your hand just like that. Cups perfectly for beatboxing. Now, AKG is notorious for having great beatbox microphones. If you don't want to drop $100 or $120 on a microphone, there's a much better option. And this is actually my first microphone, and I can swear by it. It's the Behringer XM8500. It has a built-in pop filter, it has an internal shock mount. It really gives the AKG a run for its money. But you're looking for a dynamic microphone. You want to have low handling noise, you want it to be feedback resistant, and you want it to be tough. But what's so important about having your own microphone just in general is being able to practice with it. Whether it's like you practicing mic technique or you're practicing, you know, different sounds, it gives you that live feeling. It gives you that feeling like, you know, you're in front of a crowd. So that wraps up my beatbox hacks, beatbox tips, beatbox list. It wraps up my beatbox thing. I just wanted to share some things that really brought a lot of value into my life and hopefully they help out you guys. You know, whether or not you're an aspiring beatboxer or you're already doing it at a professional level, I think that the little things matter. The most beautiful thing about beatboxing is that it's free. You know, you were given this instrument at birth and you hone it and craft it into whatever you want to craft it into. I'm not saying like, you know, you can't be a beatboxer without these things. Honestly speaking, you don't need any of these things. Uh, you, you probably need water, but do I think that these things have helped me get to another level of beatboxing? For sure, if you're looking to move into a more professional level, these things are not necessarily needed, but they're very, very helpful. If you liked any of the products that you saw here today, check out the links in the description. You'll find the items right there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you know of an aspiring beatboxer that really wants to push their game to the next level, share this video with them. I hope that this helps you as much as it has helped me. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to share a couple things that make my life as a beatboxer a lot easier. T-Mex out. Hope you guys have a great day. Go kill it out there and be your best self.